Alrighty, welcome! Today we're having a very exciting adventure. We're gonna be playing uh, Ruby Merch The Price Is Wrong. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Featuring the Judgmental Critter and Allison. Yay! <laughs> gonna explain the rules real quick. It's Price Is Right. Critter and Allison will guess the price of the item, and whoever is closest without going over gets two points. I've also found a similar item available elsewhere online, and whoever is closest to that item's price will receive one bonus point. I think this is a fun way to also compare. Rooster Teeth's prices to, you know, the rest of the world, uh, while still giving everyone another opportunity to get in a little extra points in the long run, because points are fun. <laughs> Great. What do we get if we win? Million dollars? Million a billion dollars? Uh, love and ado adoration? <laughs> yes. Love and adoration. <laughs> I'd prefer the money. <laughs> Alright, so great. Let's, let's begin. So. These are the Ruby Summer Swim Shorts. Hmm. What are we thinking? We'll start with, uh, Allison. Allison, you get to go first because you have fewer subscribers. So, <laughs> that's the rules. Oh, I was like, oh yes, alphabetical. That's smart. <laughs> oh yeah, that, uh, we'll go with that. <laughs> what I'm do you think? put this at first. $55. I think it's $35. So the price is $54.95. So Critter yeah. actually gets the two what? points <laughs> because Allison went over. Oh. 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 I it's... thought they'd be 60 and so on. Like, 55. <laughs> the perfect number. See, I <laughs> was sitting here like, oh. man, third. Because before you said it, it was like 35. That's pretty expensive. But swim trunks <laughs> needs that like liner on the inside for swimming. So it mm -hmm. might be. And then you said 55. I'm like, well, that's unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're paying for about the same price as a video game for some swim trunks where one of the legs has some things related to Ruby. <laughs> uh, but let's see if either of you got a bonus point by comparing it to an, a similar item. Uh, you can get fine <laughs> swim trunks for $16. So no bonus points on that one. So perfect. You guys understand how the game works. Wow. Now it's smooth sailing. <laughs> so uh, since Allison, you uh, did not get that one, so you'll be getting to go first again. How's oh that boy. sound? Oh boy, first always. <laughs> <laughs> it is the ruby woven button down shirt. Ew. It's the other side, so you could wear these with your swim trunks. Oh god, oh, yes. oh no. <laughs> uh, 50. 50. I'm actually gonna go the opposite. I'm gonna say 60. 60. Yeah, it's the buttons. They have to be handcrafted by the gods themselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they must be, since it is again a fifty nine ninety five article of clothing. <laughs> Allison gets the points Yay! this time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, by the way, so I was like, button down shirts, those are pricey, right? Uh, well, you can get them for $30. $22, not even 30 <laughs> At Banana Republic. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> look at how nice this man looks, though. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, uh, Critter, you'll be going first this time. I'm the loser for now. The, <laughs> for the for the Ruby Zwei pile towel. Oh, this is a towel. Yes. Oh God. It's a full pattern <laughs> towel. Like this. There's no border on the towel. The whole towel is Zwei pile. <laughs> So here's the thing. I'm wondering if is is it a, like a real towel or like a beach towel? I'm thinking Ooh, it's a I, beach towel. I believe it's a beach towel. I looked up the dimensions, so for comparison, I could find another towel of the same dimension. But uh, I forget if it. I think it's a beach towel. Okay. Either way, you can you can dry yourself on it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a, a switcheroo. I'm gonna say ten dollars because while $10. I don't think this is ten dollars. I think a real beach towel would be. Uh, I'm gonna guess 15. The price is 44.95. Are you shitting my dick off? <laughs> <laughs> For a beach towel? <laughs> With a really ugly picture of Ruby. Yeah, those wise are cute, but Ruby looks awful. <laughs> 
<laughs> they tend to struggle at Ruby. We'll see another thing uh, uh, shortly. But but let's see if either of you got a bonus point. So I found these. This is a set of two two towels for still less money, thirty four ninety nine. <laughs> Which means it's seventeen fifty per item, which means Allison also gets the bonus point. Wow, Ooh. I super screwed myself. I guess I vastly underestimated the value of a beach towel, because ten bucks is about what I would want to spend. <laughs> the Ruby one feel looks like it's just like a strip of cloth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like there's no texture there. It it soaks up water about as well as our hand towels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, it's like that. Can, can you find that one part from? It's one of the Game Grumps Ten Minute Power Hours, and it's when they like spill crap all over the table. And Danny's like, "Don't worry, I have the paper towels. <laughs> if I could find it, I'll, I'll put it here." Not to worry, Aaron. I've got the paper towels. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> We've contained it. So, Critter, you'll be going first again for this next one. All right. So, these are the Ruby coin pouches. Some facts about the coin pouches include the fact that, so their size, they are about the same size as a computer mouse, which I think is relatively standard for a coin pouch. The other fact is, while most of the girls seem fine, Ruby, once again, I don't know why, every time Ruby is illustrated in these cute styles, which includes Ruby Chibi, she looks like a goblin, and I want to apologize to the artist, because that's quite mean to say, wow, that face looks bad. That's an ugly looking picture of Ruby right there. And that's mean, and I'd like to apologize. Unfortunately, I can't because the artist is not listed anywhere. What's the price? You're <laughs> guessing the price of one. They are sold individually. I'm gonna say $25. So I know that this is gonna be wrong, but <laughs> for the- for the- <laughs> for integrity's sake, I have to say $5 because <laughs> I saw coin pouches that were like, cute merch things and they were literally like a dollar they are 12.95 damn <laughs> which means allison gets the points <laughs> cuz critter was over <laughs> i really i did not not only did i not know like i know rooster teeth is always overpriced but also like i just don't know what the cost of a coin purse is <laughs> but uh so to compare uh you can get a fine one for four dollars, which means nobody gets the bonus points because Allison was over Dang. on that price as well. <laughs> Critter, you are falling behind. No, <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna do so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you'll do better with this next Ruby Zwei cosplay pouch. Ruby does not have this in the show. Who is this fucking cosplay for? <laughs> Critter. Oh. What price do you think this is? Lord. Duh. I don't even know. I'm gonna- okay. Alright, I'm gonna go with ten dollars. Fifteen. How much could it possibly be? Could it be thirty-four ninety-five? What? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder there's no fucking reviews! <laughs> it's for what is effectively a leather coin- um, like, phone case. Yeah. Like, to put your phone in, which you could get- um, for eleven ninety eight, which means Critter gets a bonus point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that one's like, that one's like, look at all the pockets and stuff. Yeah, it's got so many. It's like got like, it's made of like Kevlar or some shit. That, That'd that'll be stop like a, a great for you. dad gift. I I, I know. Right? Guarantee <laughs> the the Ruby one doesn't have. It's just like an empty pocket, like just one yeah. hole. <laughs> one thousand <000%. laughs> percent. Well, uh, so we'll, we're gonna have Allison go first on this next one. Uh, maybe to give Critter a bit of a break. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So this is the Ruby Crescent Rose shoulder bag. Oh. Oh. I tried it to looks, convince It's so myself. recognizably. <laughs> it's so recognizably Crescent Rose. Can you tell that it's... <laughs> it's her gun? <laughs> it looks like a wall texture in Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it so does. <laughs> so, Allison, how much do you think this might be? Oh, the Lord. Okay, sixty. Damn. I was also thinking sixty. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go with sixty-five because it has oh. like it seems like a pocket spot on the sides there. 
for like maybe you could put a water bottle and that means that it's definitely worth five more dollars than, than normal <laughs> let's see how much it really is it's fifty nine ninety five. Damn, yes! you are both over. <laughs> so close. Let's see if either of you got a bonus point, though. Uh, no, your guys are way <laughs> off. Eleven dollars. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's all right. Here comes one of my favorites. So this is the Ruby Weiss Schnee Streetwear Jet Tag. Um, and I like it because it looks like it reads, I more than a name. It totally does. <laughs> I was reading, I had to like do a double take because I was like, that's not the quote. <laughs> it's especially silly because the exact quote is, I'm more than a name. Yeah, and, so the and clearly that would have been too long. And so they just have like a little line signifying when the quote begins, which is unnecessary. And so it just looks like I'm more than a name. <laughs> What is this? What is this for? Street tag? Like it's something yeah, you it's, slap on your luggage so people know it's yours. <laughs> yeah, it's streetwear and it's a jet tag. I'm not up with the hip new street fashions, but yeah, basically you put this on yourself and that's cool. It's like a keychain, but fashion. Who would want this? Uh, I, well, the, uh, yeah, the neither best. of you got a point, so we'll actually we'll let Critter go first again. <laughs> Since you're losing, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess four ninety five. Okay. Okay. Now we're thinking about portals. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> what do you think, Allison? Oh no, I was thinking five dollars, seven dollars and forty five cents. So the price is nine ninety five. How? How? I don't know. <laughs> I, I've embroidered stuff before. You just put it in a machine. It's. <laughs> mm. Well, maybe, Critter, maybe you got a bonus point by comparing it to a different item. And you do! Oh, <laughs> yeah! You can get these for $5. I, I don't think it's the whole pile of them <laughs> that you get for 5 But I don't know. I didn't click on it, I'll admit. <laughs> but yeah, what a, what a jump in price there for I more than a name. <laughs> so this is... The Ruby Weiss Schnee Streetwear Necklace. Ooh. Some bonus facts. The size of the necklace is nowhere to be found on the page, oh. both chain length or the dimensions of the charm. So I have no idea how big this thing is. We'll make Allison go first this time. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna say that this is, um, yeah, this is $40. Critter, what do you think? Huh, perfect. I'm gonna say $45. It is twenty nine oh. ninety five. You guys are way up. Well, now it makes me think this is a really small necklace. I really like, wish that they had the dimensions. I've never seen that before of buying jewelry and not having that. Yeah, it made it kind of tough to find a comparison for the bonus uh, point. Yeah, uh, but I found something that was a similar vibe. Uh, for a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> That's a really uh, nice looking pendant too. Look at that. Yeah, it's cute. I would rather wear that than the the Weiss one. Uh, I'll say. <laughs> uh, so great job. Neither of you got a point. <laughs> Good. It is the Ruby Pride Ilya T-shirt. Uh, Allison, you're going first again. What say you? Thirty. Thirty-four dollars. Thirty-four dollars. Nice. Critter, what do you think? For a black t-shirt with a PNG, a stock image from their uh, mobile game that doesn't exist anymore. Is that <laughs> what that's from? Yeah. Yes. No. Uh-huh. No. Thirty-six dollars. Thirty-six. Fascinating. Yeah. Your prices are becoming closer. The price is twenty four ninety five. You're we both suck up at again. this. We suck. <laughs> We're bad. So you can get this exact picture done for uh, four fifty nine using this website that I've used before. Actually, fun fact. Yeah. It was a it was a soft shirt. It the quality was really nice and lasted for at least the, a year. Uh, and you could pick your favorite character and put an ugly ruby red uh, rainbow gradient <laughs> across the word ruby. Uh, and you can do that 
for five dollars. Dang. <laughs> so no bonus points. <laughs> You guys are doing really well. <laughs> I know. I came in so confidently, too. <laughs> Here's the next one. It is the Ruby Rowdy Ruby Pullover Hoodie. This is cute art. Yeah, it's fine. Also, you'll be going first again. Hoodies are always expensive. 60. Perfect. I'm gonna go with 69. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so it's, you're both uh, um, over again. <laughs> I was but so close. You no. were. You just, you just didn't think like a, like a business I manager. I keep forgetting. <laughs> In comparison, so you're both still over. You could get a Demon Slayer hoodie with a PNG from the show. <laughs> yeah, Hot Topic, which is notoriously overpriced. And uh, it's ten dollars cheaper <laughs> than the r rowdy ruby pullover hoodie. You guys are doing really, really well. <laughs> maybe well, you'll maybe do better our, with it. Maybe if our charming hostess decided to boost us up. <laughs> yeah, well, I just told you you're doing well. <laughs> Very genuinely. <laughs> Why is it always none of just... the letters capitalized in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll do better with this next one. So this is the Ruby reusable utensil set. It is made out of wheat fiber and PP plastic. The size of the utensils wasn't listed, so did they there you go? Did they come with everyone's emblems or just rubies? Just rubies. Why is it only ever just ruby? Give me like because, Ublek merch, guys. Because <laughs> she's the protagonist, but she's which is boring. why she she doesn't do anything in the show. So they have to remind you she's the protagonist with the merch. <laughs> Critter, you're gonna go first. Maybe this will break the chain of um, being a little over <laughs> okay. in terms of the prices. <laughs> I got this for sure. Fourteen dollars and ninety-five cents. And Allison, what do you think? How much would you spend on a couple of plastic? A single set of plastic utensils. Well, I think she's definitely wrong. I am going to go half her price. I am going to say that these are seven dollars. Um, $7. Also, I, it, I think that these are like relatively cute, depending sure. on the price. Sure. <laughs> the, the fork looks a little uh, not good for forking, but the others yeah, look they fine. Look they have somewhat strangely babyish proportions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they are fourteen ninety five. Critter got it exactly. I, I got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you double points for that. Oh shit! Oh that was shit! Really good. Oh man! Excellent job. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, but maybe, maybe Allison. Get a bonus point. <laughs> well, uh, you're a little oh, over. Oh no! You oh, can no, get the that exact. It's blatantly cuter. <laughs> <laughs> it's blatantly cuter, and the fork clearly is usable, <laughs> actually, <laughs> for one sixty-five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, here comes a big one. Uh, I've got two slides to show you for this one. Ooh. So this is the Ruby Weissschne Streetwear Parka. So here is the parka, front and back. And here are some more pictures. I really like the one on the right where they decided to take a, a fancy photograph in GTA 5, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's right so... next to all the all the bird poop and shit. <laughs> Allison, how much do you, you think for the parka? I don't trust parkas. Parkas are always bad. That might be wrong, but every parka I have ever had is bad. Do they all seem to be made out of raincoat material? <laughs> <laughs> They've all just been super cheap and bad. Because <laughs> this yeah. looks like raincoat yes. material. <laughs> yeah, it's that thing where you walk and they make that swish, swish, swish sound. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pay more than $12 for this. 12 Ooh. Uh, Critter, what do you think? We are going hard on opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm gonna say eighty-four dollars. <laughs> Whoa! Eighty-four. Wow. This is the biggest difference we've had between you two. Well, look at it. Big ass pockets. A lot of buttons. Look how long it is. They gotta print the emblem on the back and on the front. I mean, There's like I mean, yeah, zippy but... things in the hood. That's just prices, prices, prices for RT. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it's a parka. They're all bad. <laughs> well, well this one. Bias. 
This one is a hundred and nineteen dollars no! and ninety five cents. Are you insane? Are you are you bananas bonkers? Maybe it's the best parka in the world. I I do not believe until I touch with my hand. I will not believe. I am begging you, real people, anyone out there, anyone who has owned this, please at me directly and tell me what it feels like. Does it feel like pain? <laughs> uh, and this one is a little special in terms of the bonus, the bonus point, in that I actually found a jacket of the same price. <laughs> um, amazingly. <laughs> So Critter gets a bonus point because yeah. she's still the closest. It's a <laughs> Columbia. It's a Columbia jacket. Of course, it's worth that much. Yeah, Isn't yeah. That I, like, the thing. It's the such thing a that good really, brand. <laughs> the thing that struck me about it was there was a lot of variation between the different parkas, and I tried to find one that listed the same um, like materials as the Rooster Teeth one. Uh, and, and I was like, not only is this one just about the same exact price, but I was struck by how much nicer this one looked. It does look real <laughs> like nice. It's, <laughs> it's got this nice furred element at the top. It's a, it doesn't look like a raincoat. <laughs> well, how about let's take a little break. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's take a little break. Uh, no points to win here. No, we're just taking a second to relax calm our minds, and just talk about how we feel about these designs. For example, this one, this is the Ruby Grim Campaign Team T-shirt. Oh. <laughs> you know what pisses me off about the Grim Campaign? The wiki huh. will, like, put the characters, like, throughout the wiki randomly. Like, it'll be, like, under heroes and under villains, but nothing about the hyperlinks tell you it's for the Grimm campaign, so I'm sitting there, like, scrolling through the wiki, I'm like, who's Miss Lemonade, or whoever the fuck? And then I hit it, and then I see that that dumb artwork, and I'm like, damn it! <laughs> the art is fine. I do think Mr. Lion there, his ears look like he's wearing, like, fake cat ears, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't know who would want to buy this. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this I is. I yeah, have so... no idea what I am looking at right now. Carrie and some other people uh, do. There's a, a Ruby D and D thing that they do sometimes, oh, and this okay. is their team. You I can see. tell which one. You can tell which character Carrie plays because it's just him. Yeah, <laughs> with the drill from his favorite anime. <laughs> Here's another thing you can get. This is called the Ruby Eco Friendly Team Juner. JNR t shirt. What the hell? Nothing. This. How is this related to Ruby in any way? I, uh, well, they, they put um, Jean's little arcs next to the yellow flower, and they put Pira's. No, Nora's little hammer next to this one. <laughs> Why does the lotus look like it's burned? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty art. Um, it's just not Ruby at all. Um, it's the it's the alignment and presenta presentation yeah. on the shirt that bugged me. Like, the art itself is fine. It's just that it's, like, uh, high Long. and centered and small. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I honestly would have preferred, like, a more simplified style, but have it, like, like I, in a row... Like, either horizontally or vertically. Or have just looked like flowers from the bottom of the shirt, maybe? Like, growing from the bottom? I, <laughs> I think, so, the image on the right, where it's just the image, that looks fine. I, w I could buy that and put it on my wall. Putting it on a t-shirt completely ruins any kind of composition. I either. agree. <laughs> I can't think of a good way to have this aesthetic look good on a t-shirt. I've only ever seen this style looked good look good on <laughs> on a framed picture, preferably with like 
aged looking paper so it has that feel uh, other interesting things is this ruby loungewear beanie which Who i only grabbed sad man well i only grabbed this one because i loved that their <laughs> model looks like he wished he was anywhere else on <laughs> that, that is that that, is, that man <laughs> looks like how i look in the last half hour of work yeah yeah <laughs> He he <laughs> hates everything he's doing right now. You know, I really the, the best, beanie is whatever. I really appreciate the poopy olive green background they went with. <laughs> Why is it an orange beanie but it's got ruby on it? What a random fucking manga panel to use too. Like God, I don't know where where that art's from. Still also not listed. Here's the next thing. So this is. Uh, the Ruby Winter Action Figure T-shirt. Um, so there is only this one image of the shirt. I wanted another one so you could see the picture of the pretend action figure better. Uh, but it's... that's not available. <laughs> <laughs> that is dumb. That's... Yeah. Even the layout of, like, the fake packaging is dumb. Why have the blurb cover her legs rather than fill up that giant empty spot above the action figure? Oh, that's not empty. There's impossible to see writing up there. Oh, (laughs) great. (laughs) So that, uh, yeah, that's that's one they chose to make. There's also this one. The Ruby Yang by Barb crew neck sweatshirt. Barbara Dunkelman, the voice of Yang. This shirt is by her. Oh, she drew this? No, Barbara decided make a blue crew neck. Um, the artist is not listed. Again. Why blue? Because she wanted a blue crew neck, and then I voice Yang, so put Yang on there. But uh, this one was notable to me because I was like, Barb, did she draw this? Oh, this ain't bad. Uh, no, she didn't draw it. Uh, but we'll never know who did, apparently. <laughs> uh, and finally, we also have this Ruby ty- typography Chanel crew neck. I included this one's price because I was appalled at the $60 price tag for something that I thought was so ludicrously ugly. <laughs> like, having all the wor- letters be a completely different font <laughs> looks so bad <laughs> I'm, I'm blown away i'm blown away at the cuts of all these 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 sweaters especially like because graphic tees it's like everyone knows what you're getting into when you buy a graphic tee it's <laughs> This is, it's, it's, no. (laughs) (laughs) This is perhaps a good time to note that in situations where the item is on sale, we'll be going with the original price, not the sale price. Uh, so, uh, uh, oh, there's one more! How exciting! (laughs) I must have accidentally deleted this one. It's, I don't know the name of this, it's bad. (laughs) I hate this. They had a whole set for this, where it was, like, half of the Ein Lee art on one side, half of the, they really got into this, like, split-style thing recently. (laughs) I I heard about this one because I was so appalled by them. I looked at the reviews and stuff on the website, and apparently... It's not like a pattern. It's actually stitched down the middle as if it is just two shirts cut in half and then they sewed back together. Do yeah. people like this? No. Well, they like it because they go, I like Ruby. I'll like anything Ruby. <laughs> like, like, are there so, yeah, any the- good reviews of this actually? Yeah, because, oh, it's kind of weird. It's a little small. Five stars, would recommend. I like Yang, and so I'm going to wear it because it's got Yang, mm-hmm. you know. Or insert favorite Team Ruby member. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. <laughs> I think yeah, the purple yeah. swooshies would have looked better if they were black, like the background she's on. Oh, but that's I, a good idea. I guess not. <laughs> no. Okay, break's over, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the Ruby, Team Ruby, Xbox One, X console wrap. I liked these images because I don't 
know why they felt the need to have the blurry leaves. <laughs> Me either. I was just wondering if it's supposed to be like a, like a you throw some parsley on there. <laughs> and the fact that the blurry hands take up so much. Yeah. <laughs> They're so dark. I can't. It's hard to see. Yeah. The second one especially. It's like how? Why would you not have a picture that just highlights the whole picture? That would because be going it's just on your the Ein Lee art again. <laughs> True. <laughs> we know what it looks like. Hey, everybody, stay tuned for my merch drop in which all of the merch will be displayed through trail cams. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, you're going to go first. Yeah, it's oh, it's God. just a, a wrap for your Xbox <laughs> One X console. I've never bought a wrap before, but like, no. so I have no frame of reference for this. I will put this at five dollars. Critter, what are you thinking? Uh, ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> no, okay. no, shut up! It will not be ninety-nine. I it, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're you are wrong. I I feel it in my heart, in my soul. It's gonna be like a hundred dollars or something. <laughs> it is. Thirty nine ninety five. Damn. <laughs> so Allison manages to get the points with five. <laughs> <laughs> you could get some. I don't know. Yeah, twenty ninety nine is an available one for ruby colors at least. So Allison gets the bonus <laughs> one as well. Congratulations. <laughs> This is the Ruby oh. <laughs> Body Pillow Covers. There is one for Jin and Ambrosius. Fun fact, the official Ruby subreddit has 12,752 fewer members than the Ruby Not Safe for Work subreddit. So I think Rooster Teeth should just lean into this because clearly people only care about Ruby for the porn. Uh, Critter, you failed the last one. I so sure you get did. To, you get to go first. I don't know what a body pillow is worth. But, uh, I, I'm, uh, all right, uh, $10. <laughs> I'm going to go okay. $10. <laughs> I also, I, they really dropped the ball with Ambrosius. They sure I think did. The, the Ambrosius one is boring. Like, the Jin one is fine, you know, have her... You know, doing the cute two poses. But Ambrose just looks the same in both of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, Allison, what do you think? <laughs> well, unlike Critter, as a body pillow <laughs> aficionado, I know <laughs> exactly how much they're all worth. 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, Critter Shit! gets it. Ha-ho! <laughs> <laughs> this game Because once again, <laughs> you forgot to time. think. Forget. <laughs> 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 and amazingly, Stupid. Rooster Teeth is at around the, uh, the same price as other anime body pillows, which I also didn't know the price of. But Allison actually gets the bonus point. This is the first time I think this has happened. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, here's a good one. It's the Ruby Yang <sighs> emblem bucket hat featuring the first review I could find. <laughs> it reads... Four stars. She's a little bit little, but she's cute. Feels more like a kid's hat, but I'm still gonna wear it, though. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, um, uh, Allison, how much is the Yang emblem bucket hat? I'm there sorry, are I'm just, hats. I'm so sad for this person. <laughs> 13. And Critter, what do you think? Okay, so Critical Role also sells bucket hats, and I think they sell them for, like, 15 to $20. So I'm gonna say Rooster Teeth sells them for, like, $24.95. <laughs> this is twenty four ninety five. Critter gets bonus points again. <laughs> Double the points. Oh my god! I'm wow. so good. <laughs> You're so fucking big brain smart, my dude. Uh, <laughs> and double impressive is my example is the critical roll hats. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ruby colorful Yang long sleeve T shirt. This looks. Hideous. I, that is the exact word I was thinking. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Why does, it, why does it have Ruby in 700 different but ugly fonts on the back? Why is Yang in this awkward as fuck pose? Why is it these hideous colors? 
I can't we'll even never know. I can't even see that's Yang. Like I Yeah, uh, I it's uh, no I I can't I can't find I can't <laughs> I can't even see her hair. That's like the most defining feature of Yang. Yeah. Ugh. I feel like I'm staring to the sun. <laughs> um Allison, you'll be a Go blind as you guess your price. <laughs> as I cringe and lean away from the screen, I say, uh, uh, thirty nine ninety five because I wanted to say forty. I'm gonna go with fifty five dollars. Uh, it is thirty two ninety five. Damn, you're both Damn. over. Damn. <laughs> Pretty bad, but maybe no, you won't. Uh, you could get. <laughs> oh, red. <laughs> you, you, you can get a red long sleeve shirt for 524. And this one doesn't even blind you with a hideous Yang image. <laughs> Here's another good one. This one's awesome. So it's the Ruby Yang Shao Long 9 inch oh. plush. Oh. This fun fact about this so there's one for all the girls, but Yang's was the only one that had reviews. However, the five reviews for this product aren't visible on oh. the site i guarantee they're one star this is a thing that was like a big conspiracy theory but it had five stars again this was a thing that i remember people were talking about years ago that people kept putting two star reviews and saying i wanted to go one star but every time i did my review would just not be there and it mm. wouldn't affect the actual rating of the product so i had to go with a two star review to actually get my voice heard yeah. I guarantee that's what it is. <laughs> so, uh, Allison, what do you think? How much is this? It's not even the right color for her hair, by the way. Nine inches, you said? That's what it says. That's big. Seven. Seven dollars. <laughs> Critter, what do you think? Oh, this is man. made out of felt. This is just felt. You can, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. I love the giant tag up Yang's ass, also. <laughs> yeah, hers, hers was the only one that had the tag in such a weird way. I also like how this exemplifies all the different patch meal fuck ugly browns she's got on her <laughs> outfit. For nine inches, I'm gonna say thirty nine ninety five. You're over. Allison gets the points. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nineteen ninety five for that. Ugh. In comparison, you could get a FNAF Funko for still less money. Dang. <laughs> Twelve dollars. <laughs> Don't make us pat Funko on the back. <laughs> <laughs> to be real with you, if you are a fan of Yang um, or any of these characters, I guarantee you there is a very, very talented fan artist on Etsy. <laughs> who <Yeah>. or somewhere <laughs> who makes assuming these rooster with, teeth i was going to say ass, assuming rooster teeth doesn't shut them shut them down like how they've done before mm -hmm. they've done they've done fan merch crackdowns uh-huh yep oh well yeah. no wonder because i guarantee you that the fans could do something better than this yep in 1000% <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here's an- this one's mind-blowing to me. Okay, it's the Ruby Velvet Keychain. It's the keychain. It's the little brown furry thing, and Velvet's little pin. The pin does look nice, the little emblem. That's Velvet's voice actress, by the way. Again, the most expensive thing on this item looks like the fucking keychain. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would be paying for if I bought this item. Uh, Critter, how much do you think this is? Eight ninety five. Oh, you're probably right, but it's it's so ugly. Oh, it's so <laughs> ugly. It looks like a it looks like a dog toy. I two dollars. Two, two dollars. because that is what it is worth. Fourteen ninety five. Are you Stop. and the thing that truly blows me away? This is sold out. What? People bought this shit. People wasted their money on this shit. You can <laughs> buy like a pom like a bag of like ten pom poms of this size and the keychain materials yourself for yeah. like this amount of money. <laughs> yeah, uh in comparison. Uh yeah. Uh, this one's Hobby Lobby specifically, but Joanne's Michaels basically any um craft store sells these things for three ninety nine. Uh here's another big one. I've got two slides for this one as well. So <sighs> Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> this is... This is no, stop. This isn't real. This, this isn't is much. No. Oh, this no. Is, <laughs> this is the Ruby, Ruby Rose... That's Ruby? Geek. Hey, I, I, wait until you hear the name. 
<laughs> the Ruby, Ruby Rose, Geeky Tiki. <laughs> Here is another picture. <laughs> uh, how tacky. Oh, it's so ugly. Um, Allison, you're going first. <laughs> Why is her hand up like that? <laughs> it so look like this. Okay, um... Oh, impo- <laughs> I-, I have an important question. Is it sold uh-huh. as a set or are they individuals? Oh, or yeah, individual, of course. Okay, okay. You buy one cup. <laughs> if you want all of them, you buy all of them. Just like everything else. <laughs> God. I want to say 99 cents, but I know it's wrong. But look at them. <laughs> Fuck it. 99 cents. 99 cents? 99 cents. <laughs> And Critter, what do you think? I'm gonna say twenty four ninety five. Critter gets it. You were so close. <laughs> Good news, Allison. You do get the bonus point because you're you're still off, but <laughs> you're closer to eight fifty seven. <laughs> See the thing is, like with the real tiki mug over there, the the design is not so like protruding that you can still hold it like a fucking cup. Ruby's just like, it's like if you're trying to hold a Barbie doll and still drink out of it. (laughs) We got another exciting one coming up. These are the Ruby tie-dye loungewear socks. Can you see the the word Ruby really tiny up at the top? No. They're not even red. (laughs) (laughs) Why'd they pair them with these orange shoes? They're standing in the the same same void space. Yeah. (laughs) I was gonna say, this has to be the the sad guy with the beanie. (laughs) My beanie matches my shoes. (laughs) Allison, you're going first again. How much are these tie-dye loungewear socks? Six dollars and ninety-five cents. Critter, what do you think? I'm gonna say twelve dollars. Critter huh. gets the points. No. These are fourteen ninety five for a single pair of socks. By the way, a you s- get single pair. <laughs> yeah, you get two socks: one for your left foot, one for your <laughs> right foot. That's what you get. The, this is another special case where uh, the bonus price is the same as the. Uh, the, this price because I found you can make your own tie dye socks um, for around this price, but you can get a packet of one, two, three, four, of ten. You can get a packet of ten socks and a packet of all the colors and make one for every member of Ruby and do it yourself <laughs> and have a fun time doing it for the same price. You can have ten socks. <laughs> 10 pairs of socks, so 20 total socks <laughs> for the same that they sell two socks for. Wow. <laughs> See, that sounds Ooh. fun, actually, too. Yeah, that sounds it like does. a fun, like, like, a fun day. <laughs> Damn. <Yeah. laughs> this one's awesome. Uh, so, this is the Ruby Sticker Bomb Water Bottle. Uh, it's made to look like it's covered in stickers, because everyone knows that's the fun part of having a water bottle. But who wants to actually put <laughs> stickers on themselves? And this one comes with another review. Let me read that for you. Two stars. <sighs> I dropped my water bottle two days after getting it, and it broke. The Rooster Teeth team was very kind and understanding and sent me a new one. But unfortunately, I dropped the new one, and that one broke too. (laughs) I loved the water bottle and was quite sad that it broke so easily. Again, the staff was so nice about the whole thing, but unfortunately, I can't say I'd recommend the water bottle because of how easily it breaks. God. What an an, an, unser- a, an unfortunate series of events. <laughs> uh, Allison, how much do you think this water bottle costs? Uh, fourteen ninety five. I think it's twenty nine ninety five. So it is twenty four ninety five. Critter, you were so close, <laughs> but you were over. Damn. <laughs> Which means Allison gets the points. And yeah. actually, a fun fact, Allison, you're on the sale price. Exactly. <laughs> but that that doesn't get you double yeah. points, unfortunately. Well done. Uh, in comparison, so you can get a water bottle from Frame Rate Merch. Uh, For a similar price, $25, this is the same water bottle type I've got. If if you've been to any of my streams, you've heard me open it to give water. It's an excellent quality. I highly recommend it. I've dropped it, and it doesn't break. (laughs) Um, And it looks amazing, and I can put stickers on mine how I want to. So that's the comparison. 
Wow, twins, I didn't know you were shilling today. I am the biggest <laughs> shill for frame rate merch. <laughs> Bonus fact, also, every time I go to the pharmacy, the, the ladies at the pharmacy love my water bottle. They always tell me that they like it, and they always compliment it. So if you <laughs> want your pharmacy workers to compliment you, go to frame rate merch. <laughs> <laughs> but finally, we are at our final product. There's a lot of slides to this one. So strap in, folks. This is the Ruby Crescent Rose Cosplay Weapon. Here's an image of it, and I'll read the description of it for you as well. Standing six feet and two inches tall, the Ruby Crescent Rose Cosplay Weapon is made of EVA foam with metal rods through the handle and into the blade for support. Crescent Rose ships in three pieces, which assembles easily and quickly with pressure screws, not real screws, you push them together. Um, instructions, screws, and tools included. The weapon ships disassembled and comes in a custom box that is printed with artwork of the weapon and includes a belly band with the ruby logo. Half of the description is about the box. Here's the second slide. It's pictures of Lindsay with the weapon for scale, I suppose. You can tell. I'm gonna point this out right now, in the second image here, that it is bending from the slight amount of pressure Lindsay is putting on the handle there. It's hard to tell because their boots are the same color as the weapon, <laughs> but there is a bend there and it is prominent. Here are some reviews. Three stars. Great looking, but impractical for cons. It looks stunning and is great for going on a wall, but if you want to cosplay or even handle it, be careful. The head rotates on the stem and threatens to come off no matter how much you tighten the bolts. It is really unbalanced weight-wise, and you can't even use the stem to balance on since it's just foam the last foot. Also, have to be careful when you lay it down due to not wanting to bend any of the foam all over it. Four stars, good. Don't get me wrong, I love the item and the quality is fine. The paint job, on the other hand, is messy and the foam is a little flimsy. Three stars, nice to have around, but that's about it. Going into this, obviously it's made clear that this is a cosplay prop and can't be used for any other purpose. I didn't expect it to be able to do anything except look nice and in pictures at more than 10 feet away, it does actually look quite nice. However, the metal posts used to connect each individual part of the scythe were not properly lined up. So at about halfway, my scythe is about 20 degrees off from where it should be in terms of looking down the length of the scythe. In addition, there are a few errors in painting that while I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could fix, are in the final product nonetheless. There is very little in terms of internal structure along the scythe blade itself, and it will wiggle around and get caught by the wind. In addition, without proper bracket mounts or rests to place the scythe on, the only good way to store the scythe without risking bending the non-structural parts of the foam is to lay it straight down, bolt up. Overall, yeah, it's a really big scythe replica from a show I love, and even though I've listed primarily flaws, it's still very cool. I bought it during the holiday sale and really enjoy having it around. A six foot tall foam prop that looks okay at a distance. Critter's going first. Okay. All right. Here's my, my, my headspace. I don't know if I want to go full $300 or go with like 250 Bonus information. There is no bonus point available for this one because no one else is selling a giant foam scythe. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is for all three points on its own. I'm gonna say $249.95. And Allison, what do you think? First of all, I just want to say that those reviews you just read made me very sad <laughs> for the consumers. For the buyers, yeah. I feel so bad for them. <laughs> okay, I don't remember if this was the actual pricing, um, but I feel like I have a distant memory of seeing um, a Zenitsu sword for like, it was either 150 to $200. I'm going to guess... 150. So the price for the gigantic foam scythe that is flimsy and bends is $399.95. Wow! I didn't oh, think it'd go that's over 300. So sad. Oh, yep. I'm so upset. Oh yep. no, those poor people. <laughs> $400? 
four hundred dollars. That's for, so sad for something that isn't even painted properly, um, and that it would be easy to fix. But this is still the product that as it shipped, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> even, if, even if even if we're looking at the sale price yeah. for something that doesn't, that I'm sorry, it doesn't <sighs> function. If yeah. you get this, you get it's it's a cosplay weapon. It says right there that yeah. that is what it's for, and by all accounts, it sounds like that that is the thing that it is the worst at being. <laughs> it is a display <laughs> kit. The, it's a it's a model. You <laughs> this is a model set. But that is our grand finale, Oof. and the points are. <laughs> Allison, you got 24 total points. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Critter got 27 total points. Yay! Congratulations! Yay. Love Yay. you, Adder. With those, with those freaking spot-on picks. <laughs> well, that was really helped a lot. <laughs> Great job. Hooray! Excellent job. Yay. And this was fun. Yeah. I love looking at Ruby merch and talking about how overpriced it is. <laughs> <laughs> how awfully designed, like eye piercingly bad. Yeah. Or just I feel like I've been on an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. So I guess the the moral of the story today is if you're gonna buy anything from Rooster Teeth, um, get their titty mouse pads and body pillows, because those are actually reasonably priced. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and uh, uh, that's it. Time for the fun credits part. Uh, take it away, credits music. Wow. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs> Excellent. And you guys, you can still see what my my PowerPoint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, click good. to add subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm not in presentation mode for convenience for me. So it's gonna look pretty, pretty scuffed and jank for you two. <laughs> but we'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so first item. All right, so first item. PowerPoint. All right, first item. There we go. <laughs> it's a thing. That's the real salt in the wound, isn't it? Not only is it ludicrously expensive, but that's just not a good pattern. <laughs> Makes it's it look not... like you're going exclusively bowling. Yes, it does. I was gonna, I was gonna make a, a Chandler Bing reference somehow, <laughs> which Allison wouldn't get because she didn't watch Friends. But that's fine. Also, I, I don't think anybody. Say. Nobody who watches my channel watches Friends, <laughs> so it's for the best. <laughs> it looks like they were trying to go for like a outdoorsy, we're out in the wilderness vibe, but like everything's too clean and costume. It's so clean. <laughs> it's like it's like when they make the ten billionth either King Arthur or Robin Hood movie, and it's like, <laughs> wow, these costumes look great. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh lord, I've clicked on something <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> i just tried to scroll <laughs> oh, it's falling apart <laughs> i can't i yeah shirt there we go get out of here stop writing okay it's just hit done fucking lord okay i found it we're all good <laughs> Excellent. That's the fun stuff that'll go at the back of the video. There's <laughs> top tier advice of just get out of there. <laughs> just stop. Oh, oh, how stupid of me. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? It's, it's, it, I'm the master of like, I know what to do. I have just have no good way of explaining it. 